when they start talking about percentages, you do not have the right to go to 68.95.99.7. It is now a pure part to whole relationship. So what percents of the sample have weights less than 44 kilograms? Well, you gotta go through, you gotta count. Yes, 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 yes. No, no, yes, yes, and that's it. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight out of the 15 values. Eight out of 15 Out of 15, when 533 three repeating, and they will tell you if they want a decimal value or not when they're dealing with the percentage in here. So they may say accurate to one decimal place. You'd now be talking about 53.3 percent. And that's not 68, that's not 95, and that's not 99.7, but it wasn't supposed to be because they didn't tell you the distribution was not no, was normal. If they ask you what's the percentile rank of that, percentile, no special symbol, will round up the percentage below. So rounds up the percentage situation. So in this case, we would have to say we are now at the 54 percentile. Percentiles are always going to be whole number values, and they're always found by rounding up, not rounding down, because you just told me that 53.3 is lower than you, so you can't tell me that I'm in the 53rd percentile because I'm above the 53rd percentile but the whole number is 54%. They can still use standard deviation with these problems. So if we have standard deviations involved in the problems, I'd have to go back and put those numbers in. I don't think that I uh, kept those numbers, but how long will it take us to do that? Um, I wanna say that the standard deviation here was 13.9 or 13.14.9 maybe. Whatever, we're gonna do it. Okay, so I'm on there, I can pull this down here. You don't need to see that, so actually you do need to see that, so I'm gonna do this. Okay, I have to get into stat mode, edit. Yeah, these are the values that we, that we use somewhere else, so I'm gonna clear this. Okay, so 24, 48, 29, 33, 35, 24, 19, 75, 68, 32, 21, 74, 44, 52, 60. So I have 15 pieces of information in there. Now I can do my stats and I can do my one variable statistics on the list. Now this screen does become important because my standard deviation value is a value of 19.4 roughly. The fact that they mentioned standard deviation still doesn't say it was a normal distribution. So don't jump to the 98, don't jump to 68% right here. Do what the problem says. I need to find the values now that are within 19.4 units from 44. So I need 44 minus 19.4, and I need 44 plus 19.4. Well, that's roughly 20 off of there, so that takes this down to 24.6. 
if I'm doing my, if my math is right. And this one turns out to be 50, 63.4. I'm looking for all the values that are now between 24.6 and 63.4. Not this one, 24 is outside of that one. So not that value, but yes, this value, yes, 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 no, not that value, not 19, not 75, not 68, yes, 32, yes to 21, no to 74, yes to 44, yes to 52, and yes to 60. Yes to 21? No, not yes to 21. Okay, it's not inside the range. So now I have, in this particular case, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eights of the 15, which just happens to be the same number as the previous one. So that turns out to be that same 53.3%. That was an, either, either I made a mistake or I just got lucky with the right numbers that I had up there. So 53% are inside of there. But I've seen people, when they, as soon as they see a standard deviation measure, they're thinking they're doing 68, 95, 99.7 rule. Not unless it says it's a normal distribution. And when you go back up and look at the words of the problem, nothing in that problem said that those weights were normally distributed. So you're assuming that it's a, that it's a normal distribution. When you assume, you don't get good results all the time, okay? My dad had a not so politically correct statement about that, but that's beside the point. Okay, so there's a good cross section of what we've seen, what we could see. Um, still, might be some problems you have. If there's anything left over, we can target one or two questions on Wednesday. Wednesday would not be a day to say, "Well, I'm taking the test on Thursday, so I'm not coming to class Wednesday," because we start Unit Four on Wednesday. Then we get to forget everything over the over the.